Jamie Wright pitching to Carlos Hernandez with a man on. Hernandez yokes it to right, but Larry Walker shows that NL MVP a year ago and that 320 batting average ain't no joke. Jordan scores on a sack fly, two zip pods. Bottom two, Kevin Brown pitching to Nephi Perez with Bruce Bochy all bothered about bases loaded. Hey, don't worry about it. Greg Vaughn went three for four, made a slam and grab. Bottom three, two zip, Dante Bichette on second. Walker batting and batting way well. Singles up the middle, Bichette scores. Bichette also had his ninth three-hit game of the year. Steve Finley, runners in the corners. Top four tied at two. I'm feeling you, Steve. I am feeling you. Three-run shot, his seventh of the year. Pods have won 137 straight games when leading after eight. 5-2 Padres. As the sun sets, bottom nine. Drama, 6-2 Padres. Kevin Brown looking to turn out the lights. Completely sundown. Birds chirping. Pitch black night. Strikes out Ellis Burks to tie a career high with 10 strikeouts. Astros Diamondbacks, Buck Showalter's team trying to win a series from a team above 500 for the first time this year. Big up respect, man. Bottom four, Diamondbacks up 6-1. Kelly Stinnett takes Mike Hampton to left center for his eighth jack of the year. Arizona up 7-1 after the third home run Hampton gave up. Top six, Astros down 7-4, but rallying. Bases loaded for Bill Spires. Spires just rips into Andy Bennis' pitch, goes to right. Brad Ausmus, J.R. Phillips score. Spires just one for six, but his one hit. Key, Astros pulled within 7-6. Top seven, same score. Moises Alou, made up. His 22nd home run of the year, Astros erase a one-time 7-1 deficit to tie it at seven. After the Astros take the lead on the ground out in the eighth, Billy Wagner in to close it facing Kelly Stinnett. Oh, my goodness. Wagner gets plunked right in the side of the face and goes down. Oh. Trainers from both teams rush to his aid. Wagner conscious and talking. Stinnett on first with an infield single. Obviously, he's distraught. Opposing manager Buck Showalter distraught. Take another look. The pitch misses the glove and slams oh. into the left side of his face. Wagner taken to St. Joseph's Medical Center for neurological tests. He has a lacerated ear canal and will have a CAT scan later on today. Everybody very concerned. Craig Biggio, Matt Williams. Jay Powell replaces Wagner facing pinch hitter Kareem Garcia with two on. Garcia just hitting 211. Rocks it to right off Biggio's glove. Matt Williams scores a tying run. We go to extra innings. Bottom 11, two on, two out for Danny Clawson facing Mike Magnanti. Clawson, yep, yep, rips the 0-2 fastball to center just behind the diving Carl Everett. Ball game. Clawson, a 3-33 hitter, wins it. Arizona wins 9-8 to eight in 11 innings. Back to Billy Wagner. As he was being put in the ambulance, he asked a teammate to call his wife, who's eight months pregnant with their first child, and tell her that he was okay. Didn't hand us that old, uh, just another game line. This was big. Bottom of the second, no score. Runner on the third for the Dodgers. Adrian Beltre belts one off of Oral's glove into left field. Eric Carros come on down. one nothing Dodgers. It's 3-1 Dodgers. Top of the fourth, a man on for Brent Maine. And Maine says, I am king of the diamond. Save the largest post-game meal for me. Well, that was Kenny. Though, though Brent... Brent hit his third homer of the year to tie to three. Now here's Juan Castro robbing Bill Miller, gloving it, and with the glove, flips to Wilton Guerrero, who can't complete the double play, but it's nifty enough to show you in slow motion. Oral left the game leading 4-3, got a hug from pitching coach Ron Paranowski, former Dodger. Top of the seventh, Giants up 4-3. They have runners on first and second. Darren Dryford is wild. Darren ha Darryl Hamilton trying to score an insurance run all the way from second, and he does. Giants go up 5-3 to three and win by that score. Hershiser's first win in Los Angeles since July the 3rd, 1994. 1-0. Frank Thomas was a brief teammate of Steve back in 93 on first. And Albert Bell, smoking hot. Bell's 27th, ninth homer in his last eight games. White Sox 2-1 now. Mike Caruso's our pick to click. You can put that one on the board. Caruso's fourth homer, 4-2 four White Sox. That's your score in the top of the seventh when Keith Folk hits Craig Grebeck. Little hurt, lead off the inning. Two batters later, Folk hits Shannon Stewart, and Jerry Manuel goes to the bullpen. So bring in Bobby Howry. And what does Howry do? He hits Jose Canseco. Loads the bases via hits batsman. Next batter, Carlos Delgado. Hits one, but just a fly ball to center field. Mike Cameron makes the catch to end the inning. That was an adventure. White Sox win 5-2. Steve took the loss and allowed four runs and seven hits in six innings. I felt I had good stuff, he said, but... In the quest at Fenway, Cologne, 5-0 in his last six starts. Bottom five, first pitch of the innings. Midray Cummins rocking a fat bat. 
Cummings, a journeyman who's played on three teams, gets his third homer of the year, one zip Red Sox. After the inning, Cologne, the winning pitcher in the All-Star game, was consoled by his coach. Pedro Martinez was blowing up, yo. Blows a fastball by Manny Ramirez. Martinez retired 15 in a row between the second and seventh innings. He only threw 36 total pitches from the third through the sixth inning. Top nine, Mark Witten on first. Martinez told Ramirez, mid up. Martinez, ninth K of the game, he said later. I had to sleep, step it up a little bit because my teammates were struggling. Martinez got Brian Giles to ground to second. Mike Benjamin throws Giles out at first. Indian streak of 137 straight games with at least one extra base hit is broken. Is it Motown? Top eight, already five zip. One on. Jorge Posada. Let me hear you say, oh, na 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 na. His ninth jack of the year. He was three for five on the night. Four batters later, still in the eighth. Two on. Chuck Knobloch. Let me hear you say, uh, uh, uh. Na 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 na. His seventh. He had four RBI in the game. Two batters later, Paul O'Neill gives the Yankees a three homer inning for the second time this year. His 12th, Charlie Steiner summed it up. If this was a fight, Mills Lane would have stopped it. Charlie, always a boxing guy. Next batter, maybe they should have stopped it. Tino Martinez got plunked by rookie Dean Crow. Tino's seen this before, huh? No ball this time. He went to the dugout, but he did give Crow the old stare down once he got there. Yankees cruise 11 to nothing. Breakout the needs big bats. They already have, like, a great pitching staff. And looking for a little bit more pop. Trump goes Andres Galarraga on the top of the first with one on. Two-run shot is 29th in the year. Big Cat went three for four in the night, hitting 309 this year. Next batter, Ryan Klesko. Crump. Part deal. Ninth time this year, the Braves have worked that back-to-back -back thing. Klesko's 14th jack this year. Next at bat for Big Cat. Instead of Kronk, Klonk. The 15th time he's been hit by a pitch this season. Top four, he got his revenge with two on. Galarraga later said, as soon as I hit it, I knew it was big fly. When I got to the dugout, everybody was telling me it was in the parking lot. 440 feet, sixth multi-homer game this year, 30th of the year. Bill Pulsifer needs a hug. Braves go up 9-1. Tough day for Piazza behind the plate. Ryan Klesko knocks Mike's mask off on the foul tip. And then Tony Graffinito foul tips the ball right in Piazza's mug. Frustrating day all around for the Mets. Bottom seven, Luis Lopez on first. Bernard Gilkey flies to shallow right. Gerald Williams. Smooth. Oh. Take another look. And on the replay, you see that he still makes the catch. Uh, Williams went hitless in his one at bat, but hey, nice glove. Braves cruised. Lewis, we pick things up in St. Louis, top of the seventh. St. Louis up two to one. Two men on for Eddie Taubensee. Rips one down the first baseline. Mark McGuire dives and crawls to make the out. Top of the seventh. McGuire up against Denny Graves. And Big Mac hammers one, and Brett Boone gloves it and gets knocked over. McGuire impressed. Salutes Boone. And right back at you, tough guy. Single and three at bats for McGuire. Top of the eighth card still up by one man on for Melvin Yevas. Reggie Sanders come on down. We're now tied at two. Bottom of the ninth, Jack McKean intentionally walks McGuire to put men on first and second. Puts the winning run in scoring position he doesn't want to face, Big Mac. Next batter, Ray Langford, a 3-0 pitch. What do you call this one? Jerry Crawford calls it a strike. Next pitch, Langford. Grounds to Boone ground ball to second. We are headed to, to end the threat. Lansford. Carney Lansford was a, displeased still with Crawford's call. You know what? I think Carney the got the gate. I think somebody has hella toast. Did. Go Top of the 11th, two men on for Boone, who hits one in the hole. It's short. Royce Clayton goes to first. Boone slides and saves. Sean Casey coming around trying to score, and Big Max throw is errant. Two runs come on in, and the Reds win 4-2 to two in 11 innings. So the Reds sweep the three-game series, coming from behind in each of the wins. They've won 10 in a row overall, their longest streak since 1975. They've completed their first 6-0 and trip since April of 90. They've won 10 straight on the road, and I... Smell it, did you know? The one silver cardinal lining starter, Matt Morris, allowed a run in six innings. The Cubs and Pirates, top of the six, we have no score. Cubs have a runner on third, two outs. Lance Johnson facing Francisco Cordova. Aramis Ramirez using third as an anchor, throws across the diamond to get the out. Bottom of the six, no score still. With a runner on first, Kevin Young against Kerry Wood. Young busts out the whooping stick. Two runs shot, 18th of the season. Pirates take a 2-0 lead. Wood struck out eight. 
but didn't get any run support because Cordova was cruising. Sammy Sosa. Looking. Next at bat. Sosa swinging. Cordova struck out eight in eight shutout innings, and then Ricardo Rincon got Sosa looking to end the game. Sosa went 0 for 4. Pirates shut out the Cubs 3 0. Said Wood of Cordova. He outpitched me. I made a couple of bad pitches, and it cost us a game since June 20th, and Molly grounds out to end the top of the first. It's still cool, Molly. You were still one for three. You're still the only guy to ever enter the 3,000 hit club with a triple. Bottom six, tie game, 1-1. One, one. Junior grounds out. Before the game, responding to a critical article about him not talking to reporters about his home run, Chase said, because I don't want to talk about myself, I'm a bad person. 2-1 M's, two batters later. Next batter, excuse me, Edgar Martinez. Brother just trying to make a dollar out of 55 cents. His 18th homer, M's, 150 homers as a team, most in the majors. Dan Wilson, a couple of batters later, peace. Seventh Jack, second in four games. M's have hit at least two homers in a game 44 times this year. They win the game 4-1. Twins have lost three straight and eight. Facing Wilson Alvarez, two outs. Garrett, pop fly. Three double rays are under it. I thought you said you were a no, right spotter. No, I thought that you was, I thought that you right were. Right spotter. Tim Salmon scores two zip angels. Tied it to in the fourth. Big Cecil Fielder bringing it like big pun. 15th jack of the year, 317 for his career, 3-2 Angels. Top five, same score. Chuck Finley facing Randy Wynn. Wynn grounds it to big Cecil Fielder who tosses to Finley. And the blonde bleached one, late covering, misses the tag. Watch it again. Finley slides on his knee about six feet. Hey. That one hurt. Big gash in his knee. He had to leave the game. 41-0 Rangers, and here's Juan Gonzalez. Sidney Ponson gets Gonzalez to fly out harmlessly to Rich Becker. Again, no ribbies for Gonzalez for the seventh straight game. Still stuck on 101 since the All-Star break. Top of the second. O oh, still down one nothing. Bases loaded for Lenny Webster. And Lenny, base hit. B.J. Serhoff, Cal Ripken, come on down. 2-1 Orioles. It's now 6-3 Orioles, top of the fifth. Rafael Palmero. Back in Texas, and Rafi got it. 28th of the season. And the folks there in Texas still remember Rafi. Oh, boy. Orioles cruise 14-3. The Orioles win their seventh straight and first away from home since June the...